Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill. I'm here to show you a fun technique using the 3D embossing folders on your cardstock. So I'm going to show you how to custom color this. So I've already ran the layered florals 3D embossing folder through the basic white cardstock. And I'm going to use um, these little sponge daubers to custom color it. So I've got Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, and I also have Lemon Lolly. So they're kind of those spring colors, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my lightest color first, which is the Lemon Lolly. And I'm going to get that ink on there. And I'm going to go ahead and do all these little flowers. And I'm just going to do like a circle around them. It's okay if you get some of the other colors on the other parts of the other flowers. It's not gonna, it's actually gonna look really kind of pretty and more like a chalk look because it's got the, you know, you've got some other colors there that it's getting on the residual area. And I will get the greenery later. So I'm just gonna do all the flowers and you'll notice some of them are light and dark. Okay, so I've got those flowers done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the greenery next. And this is Granny Apple Green. And there's only, I'm, I, these could be green right here, but I'm gonna actually treat them as part of the flower. So we just have a little bit of greenery. And that's these little itty bitty um, leaf areas right here by the little flowers. I'm just doing this softly. You can do it as if you want a deeper color. I'm just kind of making it like really airy looking, I think. And you can go over the color that you already did as far as like if you want to make sure you want it darker. It's always better to start on lighter. So we've got that. I just love those colors right there. Okay, now the fresh freesia. I'm going to move these stamp pads so I don't get in them. I like how you can put these on your finger and it's just super simple. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm going to just do this in a circular motion. So let's say you want a really light color, fresh freesia, then you could just do that. But I want it a little darker, so I'm going to put it a little more into it, a little more muscle into it to get that color that I want. And I'm going to do all those flowers the same way. And I think it would be fun to go ahead and take your Wink Estella and go on these little spots right there to make them give them an extra bit of sparkle. I do love sparkles, so. And it's okay if it gets off like this. It just gives it pretty soft look. Isn't it neat that you can see the detail as you're going out in the light and dark? I mean, there's no right or wrong way with this. That's why I think it's such a pretty technique to do with those 3D embossing folders because you can use any, You, I mean, basically custom coloring it. You can do it all in the same color by doing the same technique. And if I want this a little darker, I can come in here and just add a little bit more color in the center on these. Okay, we've got a few more here. Oh, so pretty. This layered florals 3D embossing folder, I just love it. It's in our new mini catalog. It's so pretty. But there are many floral embossing folders too you can do the same thing with. Done all the fresh freesia color. Now I want to do the center of my flowers. So there's two different ways you can do that. You can either take one of these and use an embellishment to do it, or you could take a alcohol marker, which I'm gonna do is an alcohol marker. And I'm just gonna kind of touch this right here in the center to just get, and it's a little bit darker, but it's okay. And then that way the center stands out because it's such a small spot that it's kind of hard to go ahead and use your um, sponge daubers for that. So you, to give it a little bit more pop, I'm just going ahead and just touching the center of these. And it goes right over the lemon lolly. So, oh, that looks so cool. Okay, let me show you. Now, uh, you can actually make two cards out of this. So if I was to cut this at five and a quarter, just straight across, and then at four inches from here down, I've got two pieces. 
So that's how I did these two cards, okay, with the two pieces. I put a little Wink of Stella on the center of the flowers and on these two, so gives it like a little shimmer. Then here's a different color combination with the real red and the granny apple green and pool party. So that's kind of fun. The same look with the four inches and five and a quarter and then the rest of the piece over here. And then I showed you that idea where I went ahead and used some embellishments for the center of the florals. I hope you've enjoyed learning this technique with custom coloring your embossed image. The neat thing about this technique is you can create great colorful cards with any 3D embossing folder. If you like any of these products, you can click the link below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos that come out once a week. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.